These types of movements and uh, exercises, I think of them like little information gathering sessions because when you um, when you're trying to figure out why a skill isn't working, why you have pain, why there's a click, blah, blah, blah. Uh, coming back here will help you root out those problems. And it's a really great uh, concrete method for answering those questions and for, and for knowing which questions to ask your body. I, sometimes I think when you talk to your body, it's like talking to a five-year-old. And you're like, what's wrong? The five-year-old is like, I don't know, it's not here. You're like, well, what's not here? And they're like, it's not, I don't know. Like, ah, why won't you just tell me the answer? And they're like, huh? <laughs> so this is a, it's like a, it's like a way to speak your body's language. That's a little bit, um, a little bit easier to, to tap into. Um, also, it's really systematic, which is helpful. So you know that you won't miss anything. Um, one of my one of the things that I always do is if I'm going to go to the physio <laughs> or the doctor because I have broken myself, um, I'll come and I'll try to do these types of little teeny tiny baby motions um, because when I do, I can go to them with a lot better information, right? So they will ask. I mean, there's only so much they can do in the clinic. So if you come in and you say, okay, if it hurts when I'm in external rotation, in extension backwards, with my foot flexed but not pointed, but only when the other leg is straight, then they'll be like, oh, okay, that's the structure and they can treat you a lot more effectively. So.